Hey guys, it's me, Raggedo7. Um, as you know, I like I like doing vlogs. Uh, they're effortless. <laughs> uh, the actual like when I used to do the comedy thing, um, <clears throat> that was very tiring. By the time I got myself together, emotionally prepared or whatever, um, and and then physically prepared and dragging stuff around, um, I was exhausted. It's like, oh my god, you know. I, I can't be funny when I'm sitting there wanting to yawn all day. Um, so that just didn't work. And, um, you know, a lot of people are like, why aren't you doing Edna? Because I just, I do have ideas for the poor thing. You know, it's like, I wouldn't even know, I don't even know if she's like an alter ego or what. Or if I'm just like making fun of a, a relative that, like, died and possesses me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't let anything into my body, no. Mm -mm, no. Um, but, you know, there are people out there that kind of maybe put a little bug in your ear. It's like, hey, you know, this person, uh, they used to be like this, you know. So, uh, but, Edna is kind of designed from a real person who... Um, she was my aunt, and I do not remember her. Honest to goodness, I do not remember her. Um, now, my other cousin said I wasn't too far off, which I'm like, oh my God. you know. <laughs> and no, she was not deceased at the time, and I have not made a video since she passed away. Uh because I just don't feel real comfortable doing that after learning this. Um, and I was like, oh, wow. Uh, so, no, she, uh, you know, there was a lot of other inspirations for that character. And I don't know if I'm really funny. I mean, some I, I look at my videos and I watch them. Like, those kind. I don't watch these. I don't watch these vlogs. Like, I, I will turn it off, and I will upload it, and I will never look at it again. And I'm horrible at responding to comments because I forget, or, you know, it's like, how do I answer that? You know? And I'm so, my nose is itchy. I don't know what happened. I have allergies and sinuses and stuff, so I have itchy schnoz. And, uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I want to explore other avenues, and I'm so stuck. And you guys aren't helping me figure this out, and I need you. I need you like you need me, right? And some people, like, say that they've learned something from me, you know. It's like, you know, positive mental attitude, and it's like, oh, really? Have you not heard my last rant uh, going off about something stupid that's totally irrelevant uh yeah because i i am a fairly happy person i think that um i'm content i'm content with things it's not how i imagine things to end up but um i realized those priorities were not meant to be if that makes sense you know it was like I want to do this, and I'm going to be, like, not famous. I think every every young girl has that thing of being famous, you know, and getting the hot guy. And, and No, this is real life, okay? This is real life. This isn't, like, a rock star life, you know? And, you know, we don't know. But I always wanted to, like, be a famous writer or... Um, go into acting or something but you know then you realize it's like well you know what there's not a whole lot of roles for me maybe one maybe i can get one and be like ooh, that 15 minutes um no and but i think it'd be pretty it'd be pretty fun you know they'd make me look good and fix my hair and that'd be pretty fun <laughs> i'd be a nervous wreck i'd probably end up with like like 14 ulcers or something but um so no guys i uh do not i have a decent outlook and i think that that's just kind of um i won't say inherited 
because God knows people in my family do not have um, <laughs> real happy outlooks on things. And you know what? I don't dwell on the bull crap that happened when I was younger, you know, and um, it was funny because, uh, you know, you have memories when you were a kid, right? And I was, I had this, like, little memory, like, yeah, I guess these picture flashes or whatever, um, and that was me laying on the floor, and I had a broken leg, and I was watching Casper, the friendly ghost, <laughs> and you know, it's like, I could hit, hear the kids playing outside, and um, I really didn't care. I didn't care that I wasn't out there. It was it was really weird. It was like, most kids that I, people I've talked to that, when they, they're like, yeah, I used to cry because I could hear the kids playing outside and I couldn't go. I was like, well, I had my entertainment. I was happy. I was content. And I don't understand... Why? I just took it with a grain of salt. So life is exactly what you make of it. And when you're laid up like that, you make, you improvise. You have to improvise. And no matter how much pain you're in or how much emotional anguish that you're in, there are pockets full of joy. And you savor those pockets full of joy. And you thank God for those pockets full of joy. And that's why I think we have them. It's because it's like, you know what? Everything's going to be fine in the end. When you take your last breath and your heart stops beating, you know, it's going to be okay. And um, whether you believe in afterlife or not, that's completely up to you. My opinion is that's something for you to God to sort out. Um, but I believe in an afterlife because I've seen it. And, um, I believe in Jesus, even though I haven't seen him, um, yet. You know, that's going to be like, oh, come on, I need to go back and tell my YouTube friends. It's like, no, no, this is it. You're, you're done. You're done. No more YouTube. <laughs> this is the gigantic YouTube this is better than VidCon, okay? And we're just going to like, I don't know. We're going to have like a big log cabin, okay? This is funny. I was talking to, to Jay about this. And it's going to be by a lake. And it's going to be crystal clear and blue lake kind of thing. And, you know, facing mountains. Of course, picturesque, right? And we're all going to have this thing. But you know what? I wonder if we'll have video cameras. Right. So, anyways, I would love to meet certain people that I've met on YouTube. And we all have different lives and different lifestyles and different beliefs. And, oh my God, that's what makes life worth living. That is exactly what makes it worth it. And um, good and bad, and it's what we do with it. You know, I have post-traumatic stress. I, I mean, anybody... Yeah, I'm not going to go into, this is why I think I have this. I know why I have this. And it's really nobody's business, but me and whoever else was involved. And um, this is why I do not like confrontation face to face. I, I will not argue with somebody who all they're going to do is scream. Um, I, that's why I just walk away. And I just will not talk to them. And if it's something that's repeated... You know, then I'm just like, you know what? You kind of should know why I'm not talking to you. You know, we've had this discussion about 40 times. So I don't think we need to do it again. Uh, <laughs> I do. It is like, um, but I, I don't, I don't like those kind of things. And, and there's a reason for that. Um, I, a very good reason for that. But it's something that's in my past, and there are certain things that will spark up flashbacks or whatever, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I got to get out of this situation before I start crying or getting freaked out and angry. So I just gotta get over that, and I just steer myself away from that. And that's why I, you know, will get... 
in with, sometimes I get in with people that I should know better because they do spark those memories. And, you know, they're very combative and things. And so, um, I'm not saying that I'm not because if I'm called on something that I know for a fact and I do have facts, I will fight back. I will fight back. And if I'm wrong about it, I'll be like, after the argument, I will go back and I will think about it and I'll be like, you know what, maybe, maybe I was an asshole. Maybe I was, you know, getting a little too sensitive. And a lot of times I will be like, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was an idiot, you know. I had a disagreement the other day, as a matter of fact, um, with a friend who I absolutely love dearly. And I hope that I take that friendship with me to the grave because she is so amazingly special. And it was, it was a, more like a disagreement. It was like uh, something silly that I just totally disagreed with. And um, now I see her point of view. And it's like, I'm not mad at you. You know, it's just, that's how I can work. It's like, and we didn't have a screaming match. It was nothing like that. It wasn't even, it wasn't even worth screaming about. It was just like, mm -hmm. okay, sure. Whatever, bitch. You know, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, well, it wasn't even like that. But uh, lots of eye rolling and stuff. But um, God bless her, you know. And, but it wasn't even like that. You know, and um, and then I had a disagreement with somebody that can totally kiss my butt, right? It seemed like the week of tension, and I don't think it was just me. There was something going on in the universe that's wrong, and like I was telling Jay, you know, Jay, um, I was telling her, I was like, you know what, dude? I was like, I think that something is sick, either in the solar system or the universe or something because it is a it is the body we are the body of god kind of thing you know we affect things no matter what we do our our energies we we've got a whole planet that's going to be negative it's going to throw out negative energy into the universe that is why they stressed it so much it's like look you guys need to get along you guys need to start loving each other because you're going to screw up a lot of things that you don't even realize, but you don't know. It's like, oh, shit, you're right, you know? And that's what I'm seeing going on. There's something wrong. And we can make it better just by putting all of our, our good thoughts out there. And it's, it's really getting difficult because there's a negative force out there, and we all know what that is, and we all know that it's getting to be ridiculous, there will be intervention, kids. There is hope. Okay? It's coming. It's coming, and it'll be the most glorious day that we've ever seen. And I hope that I get to go home. I mean, I've actually... This is crazy. I'm telling y'all a secret that's not really going to be a secret anymore. But I've actually, like, been praying, and, and I've cried, and I'm like, God, I just want to come home. This place is crazy. I just want to go home. It's I feel like it's corrupting me. It's corrupting people I care about. And this, I, I, it scares me. It, it just scares me. And there's too much negative. And it's like, you can't go home. Because if you go home now, and that's going to screw up the order of things. You know, this is why suicide is not cool, guys. It messes up the order of life. And this is why... Your outcome may not be that good. Um, do I think all suicide cases go to hell or a bad place? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. There are there are things that um, we do not understand that the Creator, God, and His Son Jesus, they understand. Okay, we don't. We're not in that person. So, whatever. Um. And that goes for a lot of things, too. Um, now, do I think that if you go and shoot up a place and hurt people, that's going to... No, that's not a good thing. We're probably not going to be having pizza with those people in, in, in heaven. Okay? You know what I'm talking about. All right. Hey, look, kids. I got to get out of here. And uh, I've made it longer than four minutes. So, Kristen, you 
better be happy. I found something to babble about. All right. I love you guys. I do. With all my little hearts. Heart. Hearts. Yes. <laughs> How many cows? What is it? Cows have like four stomachs or something. I don't know. Anyways. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Peace be with you. Always. Always. And I love you guys.